Hey guys, what's up? Today I have August beauty favorite, so let's just get into it. First item being from Fresh, this is the Rose Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum. This stuff is clearly something I enjoy because it's almost done. It soaks into your face like water or a lightweight toner, but it adds this beautiful glow and your skin feels so soft and plush. I use this underneath moisturizers. If you have very oily skin, I genuinely think you could get away with using this alone as your moisturizer. You need a tiny bit. I apply this right onto my hands and then press it onto my clean skin um, so you're not wasting any on like a cotton pad that's unnecessary. This body oil from Osea, it's the algae body oil is so delicious for the skin. I love that there's a pump because it makes it so easy to apply. And I find that every time I walk in and out of the bathroom, I just like put a pump in my hand and rub it on my arms or my shins. I have really bad eczema, especially on my shins. That's like ugh, such a problem issue for me right now. And it's helping to contain the eczema and just the overall discomfort associated with it. So I use the Hannah Hannah Shea Butter Body Moisturizer and right out of the shower on damp skin, like I won't even dry myself off. I will take the Shea Butter, rub it, put a couple pumps of this, rub it in and just slather my body. It is the most insane but satisfying hydration. Like my skin is glowing, it is soft, it is nourished, it is hydrated. It does take a minute to soak in, but it might also be the quantity that I'm using because when I say slather, I am like greased up, but I love it. I wish it would come in a larger bottle. It's cruelty-free, vegan, gluten-free, made in the USA. This stuff just arrived to me in the month of August and oh my god it's so good it's the Monday Born Rebirth Exfoliating Serum with Lactic Acid this is Tenny's brand and it has balanced out my skin so beautifully and helped with texture so significantly just using it like five times I use this every other night it is a lactic acid serum so it's a chemical exfoliator but it's so gentle on the skin it almost is a little hydrating feeling to the skin and doesn't cause any dryness like the next day from the chemical exfoliation. I have been suffering from texture and pores and especially right here, right here in my little like goatee beard area, maskne and hormonal acne. And for me, it's like these whiteheads that just get inflamed and so gnarly and I've been using this I don't want to jinx it but it helps even if I see something popping up I'll use it at night and the next day it's either dried out or significantly decreased my skin just feels a lot smoother but just make sure that if you're using any chemical exfoliator and they say it on the back too you have to use a sunscreen because it sensitizes your skin and any sun exposure will cause more damage if your skin is already sensitized so make sure you have sunscreen but this stuff so good Speaking of sunscreen, this is the Dermalogica Invisible Physical Defense SPF 30. Not only does this sunscreen feel super comfortable on the skin, it almost acts like a moisturizer, but it doesn't add like dew to the skin. It's like a matte moisturizer, but it completely soaks in and is melanin approved if you are in my skin tone bracket for sure, because it soaks in within like a minute or two and it's completely disappeared. There's no white cast and it smells like spa. Eucalyptus, minty, fresh, like, oh, it smells so good that it makes you want to put it on your face and it's sun protection. So you should be putting it on your face. I use this on top of moisturizer. It doesn't make me feel greasier or look greasier. I love that it's a physical SPF and it really is invisible. This bad boy, I was not expecting to enjoy as much as I do. It's the Domini Cosmetics with JD Wadey 180 Ultra Hydrating Fine Mist. I will finish my skincare, spray my face. Spray it before my skincare. If I'm not wearing any foundation and I just am wearing like a cheek color and a cream bronzer, which I've been doing frequently recently, I will just use this as a finishing spray to really just add a lot of hydration and natural dew. It is a really fine mist. Oh.
It has like a soft, gentle, like maybe laundry-ish scent, which I love. It's so fine and adds the perfect amount of hydration where you're not like grease ball status. Like it's not as intensely hydrating and dewy as the Tatcha Dewy Skin Mist, but it really does add hydration. This is a fan. I got it from Amazon. It was super inexpensive, but I use this for setting spray. Sometimes I use it with my skincare, like if I'm applying layers and I want it to dry before the next layer, I'll just blast my face with this. It's such a staple in my routine. I've had it for like over a year now and I use it every single time I do my makeup and otherwise. I think this one was like 11 bucks or 10 bucks and it has two settings. So you just press the button. It's just a great staple to any and everybody's routine. This is the Guidance to Glow Copper Complex Peptide Copper Minerals and Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Guidance to Glow is a brand created by Fenya. She is an esthetician out in LA and her stuff is all phenomenal. I love every single thing that I've tried from her so far, but this is really amazing because it is such a lightweight hyaluronic acid hydrating serum. It soaks right into the skin. doesn't feel like you have anything on your face, but I genuinely can tell a difference in evenness of skin tone and also how much hydration hydration this helps my other products give me if that makes sense i love that it amplifies the effect of all my other skincare i am almost out of this i think it's amazing for anyone and everyone because it is so lightweight and it helps with fine lines wrinkles texture and evenness of skin tone this is newer but golly gee this is like the only thing that I've been using on my face for like foundation recently. It's the Smashbox Halo Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer, SPF 25. I have no idea why I just said golly gee. I don't know what that was, but I have mine in the shade medium tan. It is what I have on my face now as my like foundation. When I tell you I use the size of a pea amount of this on my entire face that's literally all i use it is really fantastic coverage and it looks and feels like skin it is glowy it is a little bit hydrating but not super hydrating which i prefer i want to be able to control how like dewy i look it says that it is infused with primer so it lasts all day it primes moisturizes perfects and protects i do notice that it is very long wearing and it sustains itself really nicely in humidity but it could also be because i'm using so little and you really don't need a lot and i think if you use a little bit too much of it you might actually feel like it is heavy or you can feel it on the skin but right now it feels like i have nothing on my face i use it with my fingers just put a little bit rub it between my fingers and then rub it onto my face i would actually go so far as to say that this is maybe less of a classic tinted moisturizer and more of a lightweight foundation because it can easily get you medium to buildable full coverage but it really feels like nothing is on my face it's so good this is the ilia novelty night light bronzing powder it comes in only two shades i believe two or three which is disappointing i'm gonna say that first that's my first comment on this but i really have been using the living daylights out of this like i can see the dent that i've made in the center which i feel like for the amount of product that i own that's pretty impressive because i've been using this constantly it is such a beautiful like creamy powder texture and i love the tone of it for my skin tone i feel like it is like a golden olivey tan it is the bronzer that i have on now and i just use it for everything i use it as eyeshadow as nose contour on my face as bronzer as contour and it's just a great color and a beautiful formula it like melts into the skin it doesn't sit on top of the skin also from ilia is the decades daylight highlighting powder i believe there are two shades in this also but this is the shade that i have been using this one is so pretty and you can really amp it up but you can also make it like this beautiful natural glow and it's a similar formula to the bronzer where it's like a creamy powder so it just melts into the skin really nicely this is an elf flawless concealer brush so you can see it can be pretty blinding but if you 
blend it in nicely or you can use a sponge and just spray your face a little bit it can look like just healthy hydrated i got a lot of sleep and i drink a lot of water kind of a look which i do drink a lot of water sleep <laughs> we're in a fight right now and i actually really enjoy the tone of the highlighter for my skin tone right now because it's not so much of a golden beaming highlight it's like a natural glow also with the cheeks this is nars amore blush oh my god this like do you notice a theme my eyes my sweater the candle in the background my bedspread like it's a pink kind of vibe right now and it's this kind of pink all the nars blushes are phenomenal and the colors and tones i feel are so versatile and work for so many different skin tones which is amazing nars in my opinion has been like the one brand from like 20 years ago that really started to cater to like all skin tones, especially medium skin tones. So shout out to you, Nars, you're a real one. I feel like on my skin tone, it does warm up slightly, but it is just this amazing flush. And it's the perfect blend of pink, but a little warm, but a little neutral where you can wear it with like any makeup look. I use this on my eyes all the time and I just love how it looks on my skin like it adds brightness and it adds color by the way this brush is a morphe m510 it's just such a flattering color but especially if you're in that middle medium skin tone range this is like the sweet spot this is from charlotte tilbury it's newer and i wanted to mention it because it might be limited edition if i'm not mistaken but this is the walk of no shame i believe it's called like the jewel pot eyeshadow but it's pretty much a pressed pigment so you have your eyeshadow a little stopper Look at this shade. It's this beautiful rose gold mauve shade and it has so much micro glitter in it. It's so fine and subtle, but there's bronze, there's gold, there's like a pink. And when you touch it, it feels like a cream, but it is reflective and gives you that wet kind of a look. And on the skin, you get the glitter and you get the payoff, but it's not super intense glitter it's very subtle and in my opinion this is the kind of glitter that anyone of any age could wear every single day and totally smash it and that mauvey pink tone again is so flattering i have this on my lids right now i feel like it just adds a really pretty warmth and slight shimmer and kind of livens up any look. One of my most favorite favorites is my lashes. These are my natural lashes and in my last favorites video I talked about using the Grande Lash MD Lash Serum and one thing that I love when I'm wearing mascara like it's a must is a lash primer and the Grande Primer from Grande Lash is phenomenal i coat my lashes completely with this almost like mascara this is a little like mini it comes in a larger tube i put mascara right on top it lengthens it curls and i genuinely believe it helps prevent flaking to a significant extent and also it prevents your lashes from like falling all day no matter if i work out or in humidity i stand for all of the grande lash products this is the tom ford eye defining pen it's their liquid eyeliner it's double-sided so you have a super small fine tip on this side and then you have a longer brush on this side it is a beautiful black intense liquid eyeliner but the reason why this is so insane i swear this is like mary poppins bag it never runs out of ink it says to throw it out after six months and i think you probably should listen to the guidelines and if it's like mascara 100 percent mascaras aren't going to last more than three months you're going to have an eye infection or it's going to just dry up and, and bother your eyes and so i understand that technically i should probably throw this out but i don't use it every single day however i have been using it for like a year it's still so black and inky are you kidding me? I have no idea 
how this Tom Ford pen works like this. I love using this to create a wing too because the micro tip is so easy and user friendly because you are completely in control. This pen is a little expensive, I get it, but holy smokes, is it worth it? This is the Pat McGrath Labs Permagel Ultra Glide Eye Pencil in the shade Blitz Brown. I, on a day-to-day -day basis, if I am wearing eyeliner, I'm usually wearing a brown eyeliner that I like smudge out into a soft wing. It is my go to and I prefer either a matte brown or a bronzy brown and this is a shimmery bronzed brown. It is so intense, so pigmented. It's dark enough that it gives your eyes definition but it is soft enough that it doesn't give you the intensity of a pure black. In fact, if you look at a lot of my recent videos, I'm probably wearing this alone as my eyeliner. Sometimes I'll take the Huda Beauty Smoky Obsessions eyeshadow palette and kind of smudge that on top to create a little bit of a smokier look. It's so easy to blend out, but once it sets, you're locked in. It's not going anywhere. My last favorite is from Fenty Beauty. This is the Brow MVP Ultra Fine Brow Pencil and Styler. Mine is in the shade Dark Brown. My brows naturally are pretty full and pretty thick. With other pencils and brow products, it's so easy for me to end up with super intense, dark brows, and that's just not what I like on my face. This, the formula of the pencil and also the tone of the pencil is perfect. I just fill in or kind of even out the bottom of the front of my brows and that's really it and then the brush is genius because it's like one of those artiste brushes almost and it drags the color up and kind of blends it out and really softens it so it doesn't look like I have anything in my brows it's so easy to use it's easy to fix to correct I feel like that flew by and I am not complaining because editing me is is thanking current me right now. Leave a comment down below for me and let me know what you've been loving recently and maybe I can find some new goodies to try out. But until my next video, thank you guys as always so much for tuning in and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye.